much does it actually cost to use Ambleside online? Hi, I'm Jenny with Kids Learning for Life and we're currently doing our second year of Ambleside online and I'm also starting to prep for our third year. As I was looking into preparing for year three, I was kind of thinking to myself, yes, Ambleside Online, the curriculum, the schedule and the book list are free, but the, the curriculum does actually cost something. Now that something doesn't have to be very much, it can be however much or little you make it. Ambleside Online has all of these different ways that you can save money on books, whether it's printing out ebooks from online or reading from the ebooks online or simply listening to free audio versions. But most of these ways are not really my favorite way of reading these books. For example, like I said, a lot of these books are available for free through various book websites such as Project Gutenberg. So in these cases, you would either need to download the file and get it printed, which is expensive, or simply reading it from the ebook reader um, function on these websites from some sort of device or computer. Also, a lot of these books are available as free audiobooks on platforms such as LibriVox, which is something that we do use occasionally. For some families, these options would work great. Like if you have a really good tablet or Kindle to read eBooks on, great. If you really do a lot of audiobooks, that's also great. But for me, while I do utilize these methods sometimes, I just love the feeling of an actual book in my hands. Therefore, I don't really use ebooks at all, and I use audiobooks, I mean, maybe about half the time. So for the most part, I invest the money into buying the books in print and storing them on my bookshelf for the school year. So if you're like me and you want to buy the physical books and have them readily available for lessons throughout the year, you might be wondering, how much do all these books cost? I'm going to do a breakdown of what the books cost me for the year that we're in now, which is year two, so that you can get a general idea as to what to expect for each Ambleside online year. Please note that I'm not doing every single book on the year two schedule. So for the ones that I don't actually use, I have done some research to get an average price based on many different sources from where you can buy the books. Also, I buy the books from many different sources, which I will list as I go so that you can get an idea as to where I find these books from. I'll make sure to link to all these books in the description below if you're interested in purchasing them. If I couldn't find the actual edition that I have, I found a comparable one that was about the same price as what I have on hand. Here we go. First, there's the Bible. I wasn't sure which Bible I wanted or which Bible I wanted to be exposing my kids to because some people have strong opinions about the older translations and some people are like, kids need the new ones that are easier to understand. So I just bought a $5 King's James Version Bible from Amazon. I didn't know what I was looking for. So that's the one that I have on hand, just $5. But um, you can find Bibles for pretty much any price However much you want to spend, there's a Bible for you. Okay, next I'm going to break down the history books. So I'm going to hold my iPad in my hand because this is a lot of data to throw at you. So the the big history book in Ambleside Online years one, two, and three is Our Island Story. So as I found a used version of Our Island Story on Thrift Books for $11. It's not my favorite edition. I kind of wish that I had just bought it for slightly more from Living Book Press, but it'll do. Next is This Country of Ours, which I purchased for $15 through Thrift Books. And also there's A Child's History of the World, which I got for $13 from Target of all places. <laughs> Next is Part of History Lessons Are Biographies, which is a big part of the Ambleside Online curriculum. So the first one is Trial and Triumph, and this is a massive book that I think also spans years one through three. Again, this is not a book I'm doing, but I was able to find it for roughly $20 on Amazon and Thrift Books. The biography that we're currently reading right now in year two is The Little Duke, which actually I found for like a dollar or less at a local library book sale. So that was a major find for me. And then lastly is Joan of Arc, which I found for $7 on thrift books, which we will be doing later this school year. Next, we'll move on to literature. So a big part of Ambleside Online, again, is Shakespeare. And so I bought the book Tales from Shakespeare for about $10 from my local used bookstore. Next is one of my favorites, Parables from Nature, and I got that one for 
$15 from thrift books. Then there's Pilgrim's Progress, which I got for $10 from my local used bookstore. But I also purchased Little Pilgrim's Progress, which is a little more accessible for the kids. That one I got for $7 from thrift books. A book that my kids love is Understood Betsy, and I got that one for $9 from Living Book Press. And then we have The Wind in the Willows, which is what we're doing right now for year two. That one was about $10 at my local used bookstore. And then the last book in literature for year two is The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood, which I got that one for $15 from Living Book Press. Next, let's talk about poetry, which is actually a really interesting one because poetry is something that I've kind of avoided. <laughs> I don't know why, because I actually do like poetry. I'm not afraid of it. It's just, uh, I don't know. I, I just don't, I just haven't done it. I guess that's just the thing. I just need to do it. So um, every year in Ambleside Online, they have different poets that you can read a poem a day from. And I was like, okay, I have to find all these anthologies from all these different poets. But what's really cool about Ambleside Online is they actually sell a whole anthology for each year of Ambleside Online that covers all the poets that you're supposed to cover in that year. So, I mean, I would pay almost anything for this resource, so I don't have to go around looking for all these different anthologies. So I wanted to mention to you, the entire year two anthology for poetry is available on Amazon for just $10. Like, what a deal. All right, let's move on to geography. So geography is taught via um, these books by Holling C. Holling. So Tree in the Trail is the first one that we're doing right now, and that was we found that on Thrift Books for $9. And then Seabird is another book I found on Thrift Books, and that was $6. The last subject we're going to cover is nature study and science. So one book on here that I don't have, but it is a huge staple in most Charlotte Mason homeschools, is The Handbook of Nature Study. I just have never pulled the trigger on buying this, but it's actually only $12 on Living Book Press, so I should probably just buy it at some point. And then a book that we do have that my kids love is the Burgess Animal Book for Children. And this one was $20 on Living Book Press. Now, in addition to all of these books that I've listed, there are a lot of books that you can do as free reads for every year of Ambleside Online, which I love because it really gives us a lot of inspiration as to books that I can just hand my kids and say, here, read this book. It doesn't have to be so structured. So some of these for year two are Mary Poppins, the Little House series, and Otto of the Silver Hand. I have various copies of all of these, and I spent probably roughly between five to ten dollars on each of these, but I don't have all the free reads because if you were to buy all of them, that would be a pretty big chunk of change. So it's just for your kids to kind of pick and choose from based on their own interests. Now with Ambleside Online, there are also rotating schedules for artist and composer study, but really these subjects don't have to cost you anything. For composer study, I just look up the composers on Spotify and we listen to them and kind of talk about the music and how it makes us feel or how we thought the composer was trying to make us feel based on the notes and tempos and everything that he was using. But also artist study, I have not bought any art prints yet. I know some people do that. What I've been doing is just kind of looking at it on the iPad with the kids, which I know is not ideal, but it saves us a lot of money and storage space. Now let's talk about the two subjects that Ambleside Online does not cover. These are math and foreign language. So those are the two subjects, if you are to use Ambleside Online, that you need to look outside of Ambleside Online for and research how much they cost and which ones would work best for you and your family. Okay, now that I've broken down pretty much everything you need for year two of Ambleside Online, what did all of these books cost? Not including the free reads because those are not required and you can kind of do however many or as little of them as you want to do, the grand total is $205. Now, if I were to include the free reads that I personally own, the total cost would probably be closer to $250. That $250 number is actually more than I actually spent because I'm not even doing all of these books. Like I said, I don't have Trial and Triumph and I don't have the Handbook of Nature Study. So that's actually a like a larger rounding up number than what I actually spent. And when I look at that number, I'm like, wow, that that's actually not that much. I feel like it's lower than I was expecting. Or are you thinking to yourself, oh, that sounds like a high number. 
Let's think about this a little bit for a second. Once you buy a book for Ambleside Online, you will presumably never have to buy that book again. You can use it for all of your younger kids. So once my two oldest girls, who I have grouped together in year two right now, are done with these books for school, then I'll be holding on to them for my younger children. So keep in mind that an investment in a book is a one-time investment. Also, I'm the type of person that was would probably have these books on hand anyway, even outside of the Ambleside Online curriculum. So I would be buying these and not really having a real purpose for them. So now that I'm buying them and I'm buying them for Ambleside Online, they are part of our book list and part of our schedule and part of our actual homeschool curriculum. So since I get to use them for an actual practical purpose, it's a win-win. I also wanna consider the price of Ambleside Online in regards to all the rest of the other curriculum that I do use. I'm very minimal on curriculum outside of Ambleside Online, so everything I have is pretty affordable. The total for the curriculum that I use per year per student outside of Ambleside Online is about $75 per year. So I feel like that gives me a lot of wiggle room to stock up on more of my favorite things, books. Since this video was really concentrated on the cost of the items that I use for Ambleside Online, you might also be interested in how I use Ambleside Online with my very busy schedule. I'll link to my video on how I use this wonderful free Charlotte Mason curriculum right over here. See you next time and happy homeschooling.